hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio channel. Apologise for the racket, but um, at the moment I've got the, uh, the fans running and the heater running as well, so I don't really want to switch it off. Um, I, uh, uh, because the, uh, the airbox was completed today, I bolted it to the, uh, uh, this plate down here, which is the, the bottom plate for it. It's also the top of a box uh, that this will be sitting on inside the amplifier. Um, it's about as far off the, uh, the table as, uh, as the box is tall. So that's about as high the height of the PA stack as it will be inside the amplifier case. There is room above the valve, this is not a problem. Uh, what's going in the box below that, what's going in the box that's going in here, is uh, those two transformers here. These two toroidal transformers. They're forming the DC supply for the fans. I didn't want to use DC fans, but I couldn't get AC fans that would push against the static pressure. So. Uh, DC fans I have um, and uh, I've also got uh, let me see it from there that um, this here is the screen uh, from the uh, from the amplifier with the small transformers bolted on it and just peeking out from behind the tube just here you can see a toroidal transformer that's the uh, the heater transformer for the GS 35B I've got the heaters on at the moment I've measured the voltage it's about 12.8 volts and you can see a meter there showing 2.79 2.8 uh, that's the heater current so um, the voltage on the heater is uh, spot on and the current on the heater uh, just look up the specifications for this tube and it's uh, 2.95 amps plus or minus 0.3 so that's 2.65 to i don't know 3.25 uh, so 2.8 is right in the sweet spot. That's um, uh, that's uh, that's spot on. Well, actually, no, 2.95 will be uh, sitting on the sweet spot, wouldn't it? But uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's well within uh, well within the specification, so that's all good. 2.8 amps, 12.9 volts. 12.8 volts. Can't remember now. Um, because I had to use that meter to uh, measure the voltage. The, um, the analog meter over there, so it shows it being a bit over 12 volts, but um, it's not overly accurate. Now, one thing I will say, and that is that I've, heard, I've read somewhere, or, or saw on YouTube, that somebody said if you're running one of these GS35Bs with the heaters on, you have to run the forced air cooling. Now I am running the forced because because they get so hot. Now I'm running the forced air cooling. Uh, I've got the heater on, and to be honest, I don't think I would know um, that heater was on. You know, it's not hot at all. So. If you read anywhere, or uh, anyone tells you that the, GS30, the GS35B runs really hot just with the heater on, um, I recommend they get some thinner underpants so that you can understand what they're saying more clearly, uh, because they'll be talking out of their backsides. Um, if I didn't know that heater was on, I would never have guessed that from the, the temperature of the air coming coming through that anode. Uh, okay, so while we're here, let's do an airflow check. See that's moving around fairly vigorously. Plenty of air running through there. Now I don't have uh, the heat of uh, the sorry the fan voltage at the moment is not 
regulated. And uh, I've got about 15.6 volts on those fans. So the fans are running a bit over volts. Um, they're spec to run to 13.8. And uh, I was toying with the idea of just putting a little regulator in there just to, just to keep them at 13.8. But I thought, well, they're going to be forced air cooled. I can't imagine... Uh, I can't imagine it will do them too much harm to have a little bit more volts on there, but... Just see what, uh, see what we've got. Uh, actually, what is that? That is 1,000... One hundred and what's that? Thirty six. That's right, isn't it? Am I seeing things? One thousand one hundred and thirty six. That's right. So if we get our calculator, or my calculator, or to be even more correct, I'll get my calculator. Fire it up. Now I'm leaning around the camera here. What I say it was 1,136. And multiplied by 0 0.09 equals 102.24. So that's 102.24 cubic feet a minute. 102.24. It's 1,136 times 0.09. Yeah, that's correct. I'm just making sure I'm not seeing things here. Uh, that's 1,000... Uh, sorry. <laughs> 102.24 cubic feet a minute. Okay. So... That's going to be down to a couple of things, I suspect. One will be the uh, overvolts. Um, as I say, it's, uh, it's supposed to be 13.8. I'm running on about 15.6. Uh, and the other is um, the volume of the airbox has been reduced because I've stuck the, uh, uh, the sound deadening uh, stuff all around the inside. Uh, there's components in there as well now, so the actual internal volume of the airbox has been reduced. Sitting there quite happily at 2.8 amps, at uh, 2.79, 2.8 amps. Happy as a pig in the proverbial. Okay, so if I do want to regulate that fan voltage, or maybe even just stick a resistor in there to drop that down by a volt maybe, so that it's, uh, you know, 14 and a half volts. You know, if they're spec to run at 13.8, they're going to run at 14 and a bit. They'll run at 14.8, I would think, without too much bother. In fact, they'll probably run at 15.6 without too much hassle. But um, I'll, uh, I'll maybe uh, put a resistor in there just to drop that down a little bit and maybe uh, drop the airflow down to about 90 cubic feet a minute. It might make the fans a little quieter if I do that. You may recall I got this uh, sound level meter. Make sure the microphone's not in the airflow. It's good to see it increase with my voice. Yeah, okay. So if I whistle into it, it's a lot louder. I'll just shut up for a second. Yes, it is possible. I heard that. Yeah, it's had a lot of airflow coming through here. Let's make sure the wind's not on the microphone. That's 70 point, quite 70.5. Hmm. 
saying 71.1, uh, which is uh, three. It's about three dB up on what I had before. So I had uh, 60. I think it was it was fluctuating between 67 and 68 dBA. Now it's uh, now it's saying 71.7. So three dBA up. Um, to be perfectly honest, it doesn't sound noisier. It really doesn't. But uh, maybe the uh, maybe the battery in the little measuring device is getting a bit low and as it goes lower so the reading goes up I'm clutching at straws here of course you realize but uh, maybe I'll check that um, as I say it doesn't sound louder but um, if I turn the voltage down on the fans to uh, you know, lose about 10 cubic feet a minute that was a hundred odd was it 102 cubic feet a minute if I turn that voltage down so that it's a nice comfortable 90 cubic feet a minute um, it might be uh, might be a good bit quieter. Well, there we go. All right. Well, uh, as always, hope you found that interesting, or at least mildly curious. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.